Hello everybody. Um, what I want to show here in this short tutorial is how to uh, test out a car starter motor when it's outside the car. Um, this particular motor is a Nippon Denso starter motor and I had to rebuild it because it uh, the solenoid um, wasn't transferring the current to the motor and they've got a big problem with uh, the design of the contacts in this, these, the Nippon Denso motor. And if you can see here, these are the two contacts, the one that goes from the battery side and over here this one would go to the motor and this is the, the plunger that you know contacts these two to transfer the 12 volts across and the uh, hundreds of amps of current. Anyway, if you see these grooves in them over time, the plunger uh, can't go down far enough as these grooves get worn in. Um, so these contacts have to be replaced. And I also replaced the plunger because it is all pitted and uh, a bit worn and torn. So let me get that out of the way. So uh, to test out, I've, you know, I've rebuilt the solenoid in this starter here. To test it out, uh, I've got a car sitting here to my right you can't see. Um, so I've got, you know, um, jumper cables connected to my uh, starter. And what you do is the 12 volt uh, clamp you want to put on the large post, uh, which is the bat, the bat post of your starter motor, or, you know, it's actually on the solenoid. And then you want to ground it by putting uh, the ground, the black, on the uh, steel or metal casing to ground the unit. And uh, when you, s this is the uh, S terminal, which is the start terminal. So when you get in your car, you turn the key ignition on. Uh, what it does is when you, you're holding it on, it puts 12 volts on here, which energizes a huge coil in here. It's an electromagnetic um, field, which draws Basically, it slams this, this piston down and makes contact, uh, bridges a contact between those two contacts I just showed you a second ago. So anyway, um, what you need to do is, you know, I've got a, a, another 12 volt source here hooked up to my car. So this is hooked up to the plus side of the battery. That's hooked up to the plus side, and that, of course, is the negative. So just to, to energize your starter, all you need to do is touch this uh, S terminal here with 12 volts. What that'll do again, it energizes this, it'll pull the plunger down and it'll um, allow current to flow into the motor and start the motor. So just to test out, all you do, do is just touch this. I'm going to touch that over here and just momentarily and if the start is good, this need, the drive gear here will come out and spin and this is what comes out and spins against your flywheel to turn the motor. So anyway, I'll, let me just, I'll do a few, a few quick tests. Here I am over here. I'm going to touch it and you, and you can see, keep your eyes over here. You'll see it come out and spin. Well, got to be kind of careful. I just sort of hit the, uh, the side. Let me just test that again. So anyway, yeah, be, you want to be careful because, you know, uh, you, you can throw sparks. I accidentally hit the casing and it, it shorted it out, but it didn't hurt anything. And you just want to do quick uh, little touches. You don't want to do it long because...